So you're here at last. Do you like what I've done? Eh, not really. My babies are growing. That just sounds disturbing. Come and see. Well, too bad for you. I'll kill you for that Batman. You're gonna kill me anyway. Jerk. He's like, I'll kill you for that. Weren't you gonna kill me for that anyway? Every yes. Then why are you saying I'm gonna kill you? I'm gonna kill you for that. You're gonna kill me for doing the thing that... You were gonna do anyway? I don't know. She is not uh, the smart. There's no close closet in the garden, so some. There's no closet in the garden. Ooh. So someone is using the roof. Instead. Oh, I know where that is. This. This challenge can only be. I know where that one is. It's in the aviary. Such rich food for my babies. You'd head to the aviary first. Stop it! Stop it. Stop killing my babies. Only I'm allowed to kill your babies. Are you ready for me? Do you think you can handle me? Hmm, I forget exactly how you're supposed to beat poison ivy in this one. Come to me. Yeah, sorry, but, um, I'm gonna have to go to the aviary first. Oh, yeah, I forgot they, uh, reactivated that. Do -do -do -do. No. They nothing to you. They're trying to kill me. They've done nothing to me the same way that, uh... Are you scared, Batman? I don't know. You should I actually be. don't know. You're only a man. Hardy har har. I've got myself a little security, Batman. They'll just die if anything happens to me. Ah, uh, did she walk off the aviary? I think she did. Burnt you in intensive treatment. Did you lock off the aviary? You bitch. So this is one of those defeat Ivy and then everything can go back to normal or normal-ish and I can uh, complete the rest of my roller deck. Oh, whoa. Said object. What was obscured? Is obscured. I hate, I hate that it has that object obscured. Brr.
I think it opens up, I hit her, and then she comes down and I, uh, splickety splatter. Caught like a bat in a trap. Uh, huh. You cannot beat Mother Nature, but she can destroy you. Ah, oh, dang it, I missed my opportunity. You are pretty stupid. You are Eggman stupid. Dang it. <laughs> You're not the brightest kid on the block, are you? I must open up my eyelid thingy to locate you. I went the wrong way. I'll show the light back. Does meta skill damage. My flag will tear you and your precious buff to shreds. Enjoy. Stop. No. It goes boom. My fingers will feast on you for days. Save me from the evil bats. Get out of here, officer. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you must leave. This is not safe for you. <laughs> They get tossed up into the air instead. Be salad. Mana skill damage. I am strong than you. Literally, all you have to do is smack me. Smack me with giant tentacles of spikes, but you don't do that because you're not that smart. This is what happens with hippies. <laughs> the hippies think they're so smart. Ooh, that's unique dialogue. Dodge out of there. No, this one. There we go.
<laughs> I, I defeated her outside of the normal defeat her phase because they added in the chip damage. And like most fighting games, chip damage wins the day. Reuse screens! Did you even give her the antidote? I'm going to take that as a no. I need to go back in the aviary. The aviary, Donnie. The aviary. One last thing to really get before the party is over. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, beat the game. Uh, just because eh, I want to. Because uh, me going about and just doing the Riddler challenges isn't going to be that interesting. So just kind of like, meh. Let's go ahead. Head to the party. Where's the party? The party is oh, that way. Wrong direction. Mainly because the Riddler challenges aren't that interesting. Like, they're okay. They're pretty good. It's just that most of them are pretty easy. Most of them are weird. Though I don't like the weirdness of, oh, the, the subject is obscured for no real reason. It's just like, there's literally nothing here. It's not a part of a riddle. It's just, oh, there's a thing that could potentially be there. But we're not going to actually uh, tell you anything because we're mean. Look at the reach on that thing. Do not hit B. Or in this case, circle. It'll forever be B to me. There we go. It's Greg to me. And two Riddler trophies right next to each other. Wonderful design, Riddler. And now those come off super easy. Just get me up here. Yoink. Go back down. Jump down and head on over to the party. With my ripped cake. Uh, cake. My ripped cake. It will beat you in arm wrestling contest. <laughs> Guest list only. If your name's not on the list, you ain't going in. Let's see. Uh, a. <laughs> that's not right. So it's B. B. Bane. <laughs> ah. Here it is. Batman. <laughs> hey. Looks like you're the guest This guy has a sense of humor. Give him a big welcome, guys. Well, I'm gonna poop the party. Right. Every party needs a pooper. That's why they invited me. Party pooper. Party pooper. I'm doing this because it's fun as well as the achievement locked to it. Party pooper. <laughs> this is they don't stop even though Batman's readying their demise. Uh, let's start the party off right. Hey, 
And now that also did a lot of damage to them. So they go down really fast. Party pooper. Every party needs a pooper, that's why they invited me. I also like how that's the thing they've been building this entire time. Like, if you look at that specific area where the intro is, uh, it'll just show uh, them working on it and it being a little bit destroyed. What is this, the visitation centers? Are you excited, Max? I mean, we've been building up to this point all night. Don't tell me you've not been looking forward to it. I know I have. Surprise! <laughs> Everyone always said I should be in television. You don't want to miss this, really. It'll be a blast. Ten. I love that quick type. It's still gonna affect me because scripting. What? And plus, I think, did it teleport me? Because Batman would stay there next to a bomb. <laughs> That's totally something that Batman would do. Kick that rust bucket. <laughs> it's playing music. Oops, kick my mic. Why didn't you stop Batman? Uh, <laughs> me? It was your plan, you goofy clown. <laughs> 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 Sending you back to the ventriloquist where you belong. Nerves of steel. You had to spoil everything, didn't you? Beating up Bane, feeding Scarecrow to Croc, slapping around Harley, my hobby by the way, and ruining all my lovely venom plants. It's over, Joker. Over? Why, my dear delusional Dark Knight, it hasn't even begun. We have at least three sequels to play! my joker voice. Ah! He slapped me. Durf. This is a quarter of pain! Getting a few extra hits and is super nice. Ooh, he ran into the mannequin. Uh, the mannequin tower. And now just slap around your friend.
I'll deal with you in a moment. Your friend here needs to be um, put down. Ooh, pick up your big friend's body and throw it at me. That would be impressive. Dodge. Dodge. That's why I just expedient. Ah, I knew he'd come back. Uh, say, he looks all run down. Let's pep him up. No! Batman! Just the way he says that is funny to me. Get away! Ooh, here we go! We're gonna have some fun now, kiddies! You're trying to resist the change! That's not fair! Come on, get in! So, you wanna play hardball, bats? Do you? You're tall! <laughs> pickle, pickle! No! No, you're ruining my big night! Months of planning down the crapper! I just wanted to bring down your grim facade and for once let you see the world as I see it. Giggling in a corner and bleeding. But you've denied me even that. I have nothing to live for. And now beginning... One of the worst boss fights ever, just because it's not how the character should be done. Remains under lockdown. Its staff at the mercy of the rampaging inmates. Just ten minutes ago, we received this taped message. Greetings, Gotham. Joker here. Arkham is mine. I'll unleash madness and toll onto the streets of Gotham. But first, direct your eyes to the rooftops and witness the final destruction. Of your dear dark night. We've been circling the tower since this point. There, Joker is making his move. Like seriously, when he reverts back to normal, he's gonna. He sh a lot of him should stay changed. Because I mean, seriously, his ribs are poking out. Showtime, Batman. And that bolt. Let's do the room something to talk about. Two freaks in a fight to the death. <laughs> and for one night only, please welcome our special guest referee. Pretty impressive that he's keeping his mind throughout all this, though. be interesting to see what Joker would look like on uh, normal Venom. So, Mr. Referee, how was that route? 
throw my battering at it but it didn't work Give him a kick, because buddy, lol we're gonna throw this thing at the right moment to fuck you down before the guy gets back what up. Are you doing? Because the, why would he activate it when there's still a dude on the ground? Come in, boys. Knock him about it's annoying I because this boss is already so run. meh. Nothing to left to annoy me. Now let's give you an uppercut. Suddenly, health bar. Give me a bad shot, bats. Ow. <laughs> hey, where are you going? I find it funny that there's just that these two dudes just you sitting come, up boys? there. Tear him a new one for me. Here it comes. <laughs> so, Mr. Referee, how was that round? Why? <laughs> Kaboom. Dang it. I really wish they would default to the I fairly raise the counter button is like ah you got it it's like no screw you City. You think that his henchmen would come down and help him a bit when that happens? Ow, I'm not sure how he even hit me there. And now I have all the upgrades right at the end. Okay. <laughs> you bore me, bats. Take care of them, boys. Boy. I'm in the middle of comboing. side.
I can take it. I can take anything you throw at me, bats. You can't. Be I still like that. I'm actually going to win. Ready for the next round? Always. What? I'll never let you win. <laughs> never. Kind of bad boss fight, but eh, I still kind of like it. And as much as I complain. Not much to say, just be pretty good. Pretty good. Dad, thank God. I was so worried. I'm fine, Barbara. The GCPD finally has control of the asylum. The doctors are treating the injured. It looks like it'll take some Have to be done hard for biggest All bang. Criminals are back in custody. <laughs> Quite a mess in there. And the venom enhanced inmates are returning to normal. Though for some, the process can be quite painful. Dad, how are you doing? I'll survive. See you tonight, Barbara. Shame about your car. Can I give you a ride? Thanks, Jim, but I have one on the way. Get some rest. You deserve it. Stay safe, Jim. And then the next one's gonna be bigger and grander. It's funny that this one ends on a cliffhanger that they never really go into. Uh, but Batman Arkham Asylum. Technically, Return to Arkham Asylum. Or as it should be named, it's stupid Return to Arkham Arkham Asylum. Like it's trying to be dramatic. Return to Arkham Arkham Asylum. But it is, it still holds up. It has a few little quirks, but nothing that major. It still looks good. It still plays good. The story is still comic book Batman fun. It is. It was the first time that we really got to see, like, the perfect blend of dark and gritty Batman, but still holding the animated series and comic series kind of canon and character looks. Like, don't get me wrong, like, The Dark Knight is a really good movie, but I kind of enjoy this more just because of how true it is to the original like Batman feel, Batman story, Batman look. And it's just, it was a brilliant game when it came out. And I, I still think it's a brilliant game because it still holds the uh, wonderful title of bringing superhero games back from the brink. Because yeah, there were okay superhero games. There were pretty good superhero games like I personally liked the Incredible Hulk game just because it's a my it's a 3D mindless beat em up smash attack and it's pretty fun even if certain parts are kind of stupid and hard it's been years since I played that as well but Batman Arkham Asylum and this uh remaster Return to Arkham Asylum is a wonderful brilliant just amazing game it has the look it has the feel it has the tone and while it might be a bit jarring for some because for a lot of people they only really watched the batman animated series this is basically the batman animated series taken up to the next level of uh seriousness and i kind of like that it has the voice actors from the show, well, a lot of voice actors from the show, and it just does a lot so brilliantly. It has the stealth gameplay, it has the combat gameplay, and while I do feel like there are a bit of a weirdness, at the same time, a lot of it is really, you have to get used to it, you have to get into the flow, the combo flow, and know when to counter, know when to strike, know when to dodge. And it still holds a really good challenge after all these years. And uh, the next game in the line is Batman Arkham City, or in this case, Return to Arkham City, because it's stupid Return to Arkham, Arkham City. 
because that one I remember even less than this game. Like, with this one, I have vivid images of the individual things, and while I do remember certain parts, Batman Arkham City was just so big. Batman Arkham City was just so big that there's so many little things, so many things that I just never got around to do, and I didn't even, I don't even, I haven't even played through Arkham City all the way through in its true form with the uh, DLC and Catwoman and stuff. I only played the base Batman version, so it'll be pretty cool to play Batman Arkham City with everything intact, the full version. It's like, isn't isn't that the way though? Nowadays it's like, I, do I really wanna get this game? Because then I'm gonna spend a lot more money on the DLC, and then, then blah, blah, blah. Uh, or I can wait and get the definitive ver uh, definitive version later down the line, if, if it be a few years, to have all the DLC included. But the <laughs> But it's kind of funny because I don't think Batman Arkham Asylum ever... Uh, Kevin Conroy, that was the... That was... Oh, and it was early. It was... Uh, I'm not sure if that lady was the original... Um, original Harley Quinn, but it wasn't Tara Strong. So I'm guessing Tara Strong only started doing Harley Quinn in Arkham City Up, maybe. I assume. But... It's still pretty, pretty cool that... Oh, what am I talking about? I got distracted. Blech. But it's kind of cool how Batman Arkham Asylum, I think it had a Game of the Year edition, but it never actually had DLC, I don't think. Oh, no, it did. It did have DLC. It had the uh, challenges. It had extra challenges. It had the infinite round thing, the infinite round um, uh, scarecrow stuff. It had a few extra challenges, but that's it. That was basically all I, at least I assume that was DLC. It's entirely possible that was just extra goodies for the uh, game of the year edition. But then in Arkham City, there's the Harley Quinn DLC, maybe a few other DLCs that I've never touched. And I really need to play through these games again, and now that I've let's played this, I can just have a field day with this. Because that's kind of my problem with games right now, is like, I want to let's play them even though nobody's watching, huh? And, uh, it's like, I could save this, I could play this, uh, for the stuff, and it's like, but nobody's gonna watch, but it could be stuff. And, uh, people might start watching and be like, oh, watching and slowly getting stuff, but who knows, blah, 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 blah. But, uh, so yeah. Batman Arkham Asylum is just a wonderful, wonderful game. It has the look, feel, tone, the characters, the voices, the designs, just everything. Though a few things are a little weird, mainly in the Easter egg department, uh, like uh, having Raish al Ghul's body, or Raj al Ghul, Raish, Raj, whatever, having al Ghul's body in the morgue is a little weird. Just like, this guy's supposed to be immortal, and yet... Hello! <laughs> but... But besides that, it ha Oh, besides that, bleh, it was like, that's a, pro that's a problem. It's like, no, it's just a weird little thing that stuck out to me. And the same thing with the... Scarecrow moments, it's just like, you can nitpick and it's like, why is there a thing to defeat Scarecrow in the world? Probably because it's less of Scarecrow really getting into his people's heads, and more of just, uh, that's what Batman sees. And shining the light in Scarecrow's, uh, uh body, sometimes his crotch, uh, is basically symbolizing Batman breaking free of the fear toxin, breaking free of his demons. Even though certain things like, uh, why is it that you get insta-killed if he sees you in there? Is that him giving in to his demons? Like, uh... Don't get me wrong, that is the most brilliant way of showing Scarecrow as uh, a villain and actually integrating it into gameplay in brilliant ways. Though, I still find it funny that he gets uh, taken down by Killer Croc, and uh, <laughs> I just find that funny. It's like, I'm gonna do this, and then Killer Croc, nom 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 nom. Even though we know he doesn't die because... 
Then again, I'd like to head cannon that he did get eaten here and then it was a different person who took up the Scarecrow mantle for Arkham Knight because why'd they change it? Why'd they change it? And that's actually another thing uh, I might talk about in a minute, but let me go over the actual characters. Batman in this, this portrays Batman brilliantly. It's a stoic, but strong, never giving up defender of Gotham. Let me drink some water because my throat, man. Like, um, one of the nice deal, like it shows Batman as really as the best version of Batman I personally have seen. He has a good voice. He has a good attitude. He isn't a prick. He has a bit of humor, but he's still the greatest detective. All these gadgets, all these deductions. And all the confidence of the world be like, I know it's a trap, but uh, I don't care. I'm going to go in there and beat you anyway. And it's just like, with Kevin Conroy voicing him, it's just like, that's this is the perfect Batman in my opinion. And then, of course, Joker. Joker in this is amazing. Up until the boss fight, he's portrayed brilliantly as a psychopathic mastermind, manipulating all these variables to the point that he's thinking like 10 steps ahead of everybody else. Even Batman, to some degree. Though, then there are weird parts where it's just like Batman just standing in front of the bomb, it's just gonna get blown up. And it's just like, even if you go all the way back to the door, it just like gets teleported forward. It's just like, why would you stand there? <laughs> but really, and, and also Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn is just a joy, though the slutty nurse outfit is a little weird, if you ask me. Uh, but really not that bad overall. <laughs> She's still kind of silly kind of weird but it does show that she is a threat unlike other versions that I've seen over the years like this one for a long time shows that she isn't one to be trifled with she went from psychiatrist to gymnastic murderer she's kind of a big deal and let's quickly go over like killer clock cr killer clock killer clock killer clock killer croc like, uh, eh, Killer Croc has always been a weirdo to me. Like, I don't get his methodology. He's like, I eat people. Congratulations. But, uh, his gameplay segment is still really tense because, uh, you never know where he's gonna jump out. And sometimes he came really close just because he spawned really close. But he's not really that much of a threat. It's more of an interesting set piece that really goes to show how like scary some of these people could be isn't it funny scarecrow is the fear toxin guy yet he then again i mean he did get et right before killer croc's scene so it's like killer croc absorbed all the fear and projected it in its entirety but uh who else there's not really that many major villains in this one, actually. Bane just gets rolled off into the into the moat. He's like, hello, I'm here for plot reasons. Bye. <laughs> but uh as for the plot, it it feels like it could have been a Batman comic miniseries. Like the Joker getting taken to Arkham Asylum, only his plan was to get into Arkham Asylum and to find the secret recipe. It's like, it, it unfolds like a mystery. It's like, why did Joker do this? Why did he take over Arkham Asylum? Once again, excuse me. It's like, why did, why did Joker come here? Why did Joker want to be captured? Why did he take over? And those questions are answered and unraveled and it kind of makes sense. Though at the same time, it's a little bit weird, like, uh, how did Dr. Young get Bane down there and have him, re like, reverse pump him for Venom? That's a little weird. But most of the weird stuff in the story can be just shrugged off as uh, serving the plot. And it's like, it's not that big a deal because it's entirely possible. Because think of it this way. Uh, Joker as Mr. White, Jack White, uh, did 
uh, revealed that he knew that Bane was uh, Patient X. Subject X. So, it's entirely possible that Jack White Joker uh, paid Dr. Young money and said, I'm going to send over Bane, and I want you to take his Venom talk, uh, his Venom formula and break it down to something new for me. Will ya? That'd be grand. And that's kind of how he knew. It's never really explained how he broke out or how Harley... Actually, that's something. Harley was in Arkham Asylum already at the start of the game. She's the one that kind of kick-started everything. Yet she was with Joker after he broke out to threaten Dr. Young. Oh my god, that's a plot... That's a plot hole. Ish. Why didn't she tell people? Like, why didn't she go to Jim Gordon and say, Help, the Joker wants something that I have. So this is probably why he's doing it. It's like, that kind of doesn't make too much sense to me. But oh, she was scared. And well, congratulations now, motherfucker. You did. <laughs> so I guess it's a moot point anyway. But really, uh... Like, a lot of the characters in this are really good. Even, like, characters that... Like, I'm not sure if, like, Dr. Young and Aaron Cash and these characters, like, Bowles... I'm not sure that they ever were in the comics. Like, maybe they were after this, but I don't know. But this game is just one of the best Batman games. Even after all the other ones... Like, I guess I should talk about that as well. I've only ever played Batman Arkham Asylum and Batman Arkham uh, City. I've never played Origins. I've never played Night. Was there another one? I kind of want to say that there was another one. Maybe. Though I might be confusing some of the... Like, some of the other stuff. All I know is that there's, like, Origins and Night. In fact, well, the... The credits go on forever. Let me go and Google Batman Arkham series and get a full thing so I can actually give my opinion without being stupid. Batman Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Steam has it a 10 out of 10. Here, Wikipedia, Wikipedia. Here, Wikipedia, Wikipedia. Yeah. All right. Okay, the Batman Arkham series, unless I accidentally clicked, nope, okay, Batman Arkham series, let us see, what parts have been added over the years, timeline, timeline, <laughs> alright, Batman Arkham Asylum, a wonderful game, uh, we just played it, Batman Arkham City, Batman Arkham City Lockdown, Batman Arkham Origins, and then Mobile Batman, Batman Arkham Origins Mobile, Batman Arkham Origins Blackgate, Batman Arkham Knight, and apparently another one called Batman Arkham Underworld? What? Well... So yeah, apparently Batman Arkham series kind of went down after a while because, Hey, it's successful! Let us milk it until it is dead. Newsflash, guys! Video game franchises are not like cows. You don't have to milk them to make sure that they don't explode. But Arkham City, I think, is a really good game. It's a bit weird because the story is so sudden. It's, uh, here's the new thing in town. Like, but I guess it makes sense. It makes sense and it fits the flow of the story. And like, uh, so I don't really mind all that much when it uh, doesn't do that much setup. Actually, that's a cool thing about the Arkham series in general. It doesn't uh, really bother to go and... Uh, it doesn't really bother to be anything other than a good game, self-contained. It doesn't need to explain everything. It doesn't need to go and like, here is the backstory. Ooh, what multiple ending will we get? Because it can either be Killer Croc, Bane, or Scarecrow. It was Bane. For whatever reason. I don't know what de I don't know what determines that. After all these years, I still don't know what determines that. I'm gonna have to look it up. Cause yeah, it can either be You unlock the armored bat suit. 
Yay. But yeah, it can either be Batman. And it can be Batman flying away in the bat suit and he can go and pick up the thing. No. It could either be Bane or Scarecrow or Killer Croc. I know this. I know this. I've seen it in my mind. Unless Mandela Effect is here screwing with me. I'm pretty sure. I am pretty sure. Though that does kind of make sense for the lead up to Arkham City, but kind of not in the same time. Who knows? Blah. But in my opinion, uh, Batman Arkham City is when the game peaked. Like, but at the same time, Batman Arkham Asylum offers something different than uh, Batman Arkham As uh, City. Batman Arkham Asylum offers a more claustrophobic, more contained experience than... Uh, Batman Arkham City, where Arkham City offers a much more wide variety, um, variety, wide variety. It offers a much more wide experience with so much difference and awesomeness and cool. But yeah, it's like Batman Arkham City just offers a different experience, and I kind of like that. I kind of like the two different types of sequels. I like the sequels that completely change things around and make it different. So it's like, here is what you liked before, but spun in a different way, but not so much that it changes the core. I kind of like that. But I also like uh, game fran franchises that have sequels that go as like, here's what you liked before, but better. Not really perfected, but like we're getting it down, polish, spit and polish. Here's the, the characters you like, the gameplay you like, made a little bit better in a new story, new scenario, new challenges. It's like, and then Batman Arkham City kind of fits both. It just has a different atmosphere to me than Batman Arkham Asylum. Arkham Asylum is far darker, far more gritty, and just so much more potent, if that makes sense. Whereas Arkham City is kind of more strung along, kind of wider... But at the same time, it still fits that kind of feeling because it's Arkham City. It's a big, big place, and it feels much, not yeah, kind of grander, yeah. But I've never played Arkham Origins just because I heard uh, a lot of bad things about it. Apparently, it's not horrible, but it's filled with bugs, at least at launch. It was kind of weird and wonky. Mark Hamill didn't play the Joker in that one. Though the guy who did play the Joker in that one didn't do a half, it did a pretty good job. Did a pretty good job. Uh, but uh, but Arkham Origins is of course set a long, long time ago. But at the same time, they have smartphones. Bleh, that's weird. And uh, they have, of course, the weird thing where they have to give him all the gadgets and stuff he had from Arkham City because gameplay reasons. But this is only two years after Batman became Batman, so weird. And overall, the Batman Arkham Origins was just kind of meh, because apparently it was made by different people, they didn't handle it as well, things were a little bit weird. But then Arkham Knight, I hear conflicting things. If you played it on console, it was pretty good, though I would still say, why have the car? Why have the car? We've got to innovate! No! The car is stupid. The car is stupid. And it's just like, Batman's not killing anybody. Yeah, sure, whatever you say, game. It's like, that's the problem. They tried to make it more epic. And it's like, Batman Arkham City didn't need to try and make things more epic. It just did. With the Batmobile having cannons and stuff and having it be weird and stuff. Uh, it's just like, if it, it's kind of like Shadow of War in a way. It's just like, it's n like in and of itself, it's not bad, but... A lot of stuff surrounding the game, the bad PC port, and all the other criticism is just like, meh, I have Arkham City. I haven't beaten Arkham City yet. Who cares? <laughs> and uh, it's kind of like, uh, yeah, sure, if I want more of the Batman experience, I could always get them. I might give them a try sometime because after all this time, maybe they fix them, but probably not. But uh, at the very least, the console ports of, uh, well, not ports, it was made for consoles and ported to PC, and that's why it sucked, but the console versions of uh, Arkham Knight aren't bad, but at the same time, I don't really care much for the story and atmosphere I get from looking at it, 
like I look at the story and stuff of Arkham Knight, the redesign of the Scarecrow, the uh, uh, general vibe I get from it is like they're trying to cram Pam, uh, cram Pam. They're trying to cram in all of these Batman villains all the way to Firefly, I think. Maybe. Perhaps. And it's just... It feels very much like, on one hand, the developers were getting a lot of, you should put in this Batmobile to make things more epic. You have to escalate, says us, the publisher, and if you don't do as we say, we will eat your children. That's kind of, uh, that on that, that's the kind of one hand, and with the problems that they were facing during, in like, the inevitable problems they were facing during development, because this started in, because they were making the Arkham Knight in the era of gaming known as, make it fast, make it cheap, <laughs> get eight times the, uh, amount we, make eight times the amount we put in initially, or we're closing down your studio, which is kind of sad, but... So, the developers were obviously under a lot of strain, so it's kind of like they're trying to make a love letter game while at the same time adhere to the publishers, but I just don't dig the vibe it gives off because Batman Arkham Asylum and Arkham City have a very distinct kind of timeless vibe to them. They are kind of things that you can come back to and have little to no problems with, whereas... Arkham Knight, it has the weird thing is like, I am a villain, and then you go fight the villain, throw him in the jail, and that's it. It's like, it feels like a checklist in a way. It's kind of, it's kind of cool because you get to see all these different Batman villains, ones from previous games, uh, ones that haven't appeared in the games before, ones that appeared in Origins, like Firefly, I think, appeared in Origins. But, eh, bad press, man. Can go pretty far. But I've rambled along enough. I've been Neon Icy Wings, and thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, uh, please snap that like button down under, and I'll see you guys later.